More than 26 million Americans suffer from seasonal allergies. That according to the American Academy of Allergy, Asthma and Immunology Survey. And this year they're suffering even sooner. Pete Cervakas joins us to s explain more. Well, Julia and Vince, good morning. For seasonal allergy sufferers, this spring has been full of sneezing and sore throats. Are you coughing? Um, some dry cough. Mara Shulman's battled allergies since she was three. What's the spring typically like for you? It's hard. Allergies typically kind of take over my life in spring. According to the CDC, Americans spend 18 billion a year managing allergies with over-the-counter medicines and treatments. And this year... Allergy symptoms typically start in April, uh, but we have seen uh, more patients coming in in March this year. One reason why could be warmer temperatures and an earlier spring thaw. Um, that causes trees to grow more, trees pollinate, and pollination leads to allergies. The group Climate Central, which says it's an independent studier of climate change, says that could be the new norm. It reports the last frost of spring now occurs about a week earlier compared to 30 years ago, thanks to more CO2 in the atmosphere. Make sure that I'm taking my medication. That's how Mara is managing her allergies this year, saying she doesn't want to let them stop her from being outside. Freighter says if you're struggling with allergies this spring, also try to stay indoors during peak pollen times. That's mid-morning, early evening. Wear sunglasses and even a pollen mask if you're outside doing yard work. Although you might look too cool with that pollen mask. I don't know about that. Yard like, work, so maybe you don't want to do it. Want to my, eye, it my eyes were even tearing. I had to wear glasses one day at work. Everybody's like, yeah. oh, you wear glasses? You're hearing from a lot of people feeling it, no mm -hmm. doubt. All right, thanks, Pete. Still ahead on.